Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dread Delusions. Uh, last time I had a little bit of a, a time uh, missed out on the opportunity to kill Vela, but we got a promotion <laughs> from Prisoner. Uh, so we are now, we have to head to, uh, let's see, the Wobbly Noggin Pub. Which is cool. It's uh says it's south of here, but I don't have a map, so <laughs> that's a bit of a problem, ain't it? Oh, I can talk to you people. Oh, if it isn't our newest confessor, she bows her head politely. I'd love to help you with your mission, but I don't have the security clearance to know all the ins and outs. Uh, you should speak with the Inquisitor Ignavius. Oh, that's right. On the platform opposite. The High Confessor, he'll know what to do. You, sir. Oh, that's where you are. Hello. Ah, Confessor XVII. <laughs> I just imagine they're saying XVII every time they talk to me, which is fucking hilarious. Uh, I just knew you'd survive the assault. The drones were all but certain you'd meet a gruesome end, but you sure showed them, eh? What about that tea you wanted? What was the tea again? Scry shroom tea. They make it here in Pi Pyle? Pyle village? <laughs> Just south of town on the road, blinding f fortress. Okay. So I've got to go talk to. I've got to go get that up there. Okay. So the path forward is actually this little. That little town over there, it looks to be. I don't know if that's correct. I haven't gone out and explored any, but there's some stuff that I hadn't gotten. There's some, there's like a, uh, right there, there's a save crystal, it looks like, and there's like a health potion thing over there. So I don't think I've gotten anything over here. So let's go exploring a little bit, shall we? Still in this nice, Does the, uh, does the sword make me run slower? I still can't pick up any lockpicks. What the hell is that? Hello, you look unfriendly. Oops, I missed. Holy shit. Fuck you, big eyeball. And he dropped a health potion. Holy shit. Those guys will be good to farm if I can farm. <laughs> Let's actually activate this crystal here so that we don't absolutely just fuck up. Uh, there was this over here, this eyeball thing that makes health potions. Good stuff. Little bridge with water under it. Nice and cute. I can't believe there's actual trees next to these big things. Hey, and there's a jitter seed, I believe. Yeah, so we can get the uh, weapon forge. A truth potion dispels illusions and reveals the truth of things. The union has banned the use of this potion for it interferes with many of their official san officially sanctioned spells. So is that a hint to use it? on this thing. Uh, let's put that there. Poison and truth. So let's go with Z. And then R, was it? Have truth revealed to you. Okay, so that did nothing. Awesome, I wasted it. I do like that the sky got brighter. That's fun. It's a fun little indicator. There's some gold over here. Cool, cool. Uh-huh. So... I am gonna go check out this town up here. Ooh, there's more stuff over here. More flowing knives, more gold. Good stuff. It looks to be a tiny cave entrance right here. Ah, with a death statue. Okay, so that's where I would 
respawn if I died. That's right, I forgot the cri the save crystals aren't where I respawn. Okay. Is that... That's a house. That's a building. And um, there's a coin and a box to break. With more coins? Yeah. Okay, so this looks interesting. This is lockpickable. At least now I can open more locks. Elixir Restoration restores health and mana to maximum. This legendary elixir has long been used to, by Wiccan cults, but is banned in the apothecary in apothecaries of the apostate. God, I really got to learn as a union for its use of illegal ingredients. Interesting. Mana potion. Hello. Death's Veil. Legendary mushroom with potential, uh, with potential alchemic, alchemical per potential. Jesus Christ, I can't read. <laughs> if a traveler becomes cursed in the underlands, their corpse may be become may become a host to this fungi. It is said that the properties of this herb can change based on the personality the descend deceased host. Damn. That's crazy. This item needs to grow back, so I can farm that, technically. My lore skill is too low to light the candles. Maybe that would have opened that. Oh, there's another eye I can fight. Oops. Don't want to do that. I want my throwing knives. Fuck you, bitch. Health potion? All oh, throwing knives. I'll take them. I will definitely take those. Okay. Oh, there's another seed to make, uh, to make mana potions. That's all right. Let's go up here, shall we? These are some neat little street lamps they got. Very cool. Very cool. There's a little bridge. Oh, it looks like, oh no. I thought that was another way forward. Hello! This landmark looks interesting. I will put my weapon away to speak to you. The youth looks at you with caution, wide eyes lodged in a gaunt face. Oh, a newcomer! Uh, w -w -w welcome to Plyle Village. My name is Lund. Were you, uh, involved in that commotion over there at the old fort? I was, in fact. <laughs> I've killed more folk than you can count. I haven't killed that many. I've killed a few. Let's be real. I'm an Inquisition agent hunting criminals of the Union. He shivers and looks you up and down. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't realize you don't look much like one <laughs> of those agents. You must be undercover, right? He whispers. Well, if it would help, I can tell you about our t town. Or just a humble village, he swallows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you heard of Sky Shroom? Sky Shroom. It's a mushroom that shows you the future. We grow it and sell it. Only, uh, things aren't going so well lately. People are worried. What's going on wrong exactly? Well, the crop yield is bad. Each year we've been growing less Sky Shroom. He scratches his head. Some people are getting worried. He looks around, then leans in closer. I've heard some people are considering the old ways. His eyes are practically bulging. You know, because starting with the Wiccans and gods. So what? Well, we're part of the Union, see? So god worship is very illegal. He gulps. Quest added. Anyway, the local Waymaster... Uh, Koliach? Jesus Christ. Has gotten pretty spooked by it all. He's wearing... He's weighing everyone uh, who can come... Who comes by just to make sure they're not a Wiccan. Weird. The Rotten Onions quest started. But my mother... Olel... Olwell? Olwell? 
Uh, um, she's the mayor, by the way. Doesn't seem too bothered by it all. She's much too worried about something else. I heard mumbling about some sort of monster lately. He blinks. Oh, I'm sorry. I tend to waffle. Don't I? Well, I tend to pancake. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know? Can you point me around town? I'm supposed you're just behind him. Just the town. You'll find the way house. The waymaster. Uh, he's pretty respected around here. Nearby is the Scry Shroom Company, which sells Scry Shrooms, of course. And other things. Further up the hill is the mayor's house. That's where my mother, I mean the mayor, lives. She sometimes has work going. And further up the old sacred shroom is the old sacred shroom. Only, uh, it's dead. Cool. What does the Waymaster do? Uh, he's pretty important. He went to Roivia, uh, the capital city of the Union. That's really far away to get certified as a Waymaster. He weighs things for merchants and buyers to make sure that the price is fair. Might not seem like much, but for a small town like us, it means we can trade with realms like Vena, Boyana, and Lundell. <laughs> he leans closer, eyes wide. But he also weighs people. Lately, he's been real worried about Wiccan sympathizers. And he has magic cipher scales that can tell if you're evil. Interesting. He looks sheepish. He's not weighed me, though. I guess he doesn't think I'm t -t -t tough enough to be a criminal. Tell me about the company. Well, it's run by a Dwayne whose family has been growing scry shrooms for generations. Without his company, the town wouldn't really exist. Mushrooms are kind of there. Mushrooms are kind of all there is around here. <laughs> Mother won't let me drink the scry shroom tea, even though she does it all the time. She says it's too intense that you have to be a responsible adult to see the future. Interesting. I don't see the big deal, though. She mostly just hallucinates about having a bigger garden. So your mother's the mayor. He nods. Not everyone likes her, but she comes from all the way over in Lundell. That's a faraway place with castles and windswept moors, the Union heartland. I was born here, and so I've never been, he sniffs. Why is the sacred shroom dead? Oh, well, that's because <laughs> Colwitch killed our god, of course. Cool. Of course. Uh, care to elaborate? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I forgot not everybody knows about it. He chuckles meekly. The old god was Anaguin? Anguin? And he's really mean. Like, he wanted people to sacrifice themselves to the sacred shrooms. To make their scry shrooms grow good. He nods. That's all I wanted to know. He nods. I hope I didn't pancake too much. <laughs> I gotta get going. Of course, bye. Okay, cool. Yeah, tons of freaking mushrooms everywhere. Let's see what we got here. Mushroom. Very cool. Okay, so this looks like an inn and a trade here. Hello, shady man. The man sips his tea and studies you intensely. A new face, eh? If you've got business here, talk to Dwin at the counter. He's the proprietor of this business. I'm really, o I'm really only employed to make sure things go smoothly. Oh, his name's Nud. Uh, you don't seem like the rest of the villagers. He betrays a thin smile. You're perceptive, eh? I'm a mercenary, you see. We fought with the... Boyan Serpents? The Lundell Black Guard, and even the Dark Stars for a time. And now, he sips his tea. I protect the business interests of this fine gentleman, nothing more, so please pay me no heed. I'm looking for some former Dark Star mercenaries. He narrows his eyes. Is that so? Well, your motives better be pretty fucking <laughs> uh, congenial because it's no secret 
that a former Dark Star Merc myself. I'm a former Dark Star Merc. Of course, I haven't sailed with them in years. I left them af after the mutiny once it became clear that Vela's ambitions. Also, so intoxicating. Once so intoxicating, we're likely to get us all killed. He clears his throat. Well, out with it then. What exactly? Exactly who are you looking for? Tell me of Valvella. He chuckles heartedly. Ah, oh, now that's a good one. You're just going to stride up to the boss lady yourself and claim the Union bounty, are you? Now, don't make... Don't get me wrong. I never really knew the woman. I was a too low rank to be clicking my tankard with her. Uh, but I've been privy to some of her deeds. And, well, let's just say you don't ever want to cross swords with Vela. As for where she's gone, I haven't the slightest idea. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. That woman has plans in motion that I couldn't begin to comprehend, and I won't let... I won't be found complicit in trying to thwart her efforts for the sake of my own neck. I'm meeting with Jack Basalt. Ah, good old Jack, he smirks. In the Union, they still call him Shame of the Navy. After he abandoned his rank and station to join Vela's merry band. In battle, the man was a demon. When his voice bellowed across the deck of the skyship, sword raised high, you made sure to heed it. But below, below decks, he always found the time to share a drink with those under his command, learning their names, their troubles. Not every merc captain does that. Of course, I don't know if that i don't know if that was thanks to his to a kind heart or his weakness for sh the strong stuff let me guess you're meeting him in a pub right he grins that's enough about the dark stars good let me be plain you didn't hear any of this from me are we clear is that tea you're drinking it's quiet for a moment and merely takes a sip indeed tell me did old Dwin over there give you his speech about how he outsmarted his business rivals by drinking the stuff? No. Well, I'm very sorry for spoiling the tale for you. The funny thing is, he doesn't touch the stuff. It's more of a sales tactic, you might say. Whenever he does drink Strystrom tea, he tends to get rather emotional and he grins, empties his bowels prematurely. You see, Scry Shroom may be a popular drug, but that's all it is to most people. A party trick or a quick high. The truth is, you can't see the future from drinking it. The Scry Shroom has such a potent psychedelic effect. Any premonitions are lost within the fantasy. But the premonitions are there. You just need a low dose and a certain discerning eye. That's why if you were to, say, reach for your blade right now, I'd have my knife at your throat before you knew it. He smiles warmly. Now, is there anything else? Uh, I don't need to know about his time as a mercenary. Okay. Hello, sir. Welcome. Pull up a stool. If you're looking for Scry Shroom, you've come to the right place. He leans to the counter and thrusts a bulging eye in your direction. Did you know... What Scribe Shroom does, newcomer? Yes. Then you have heard it shows you the future, but see, it puts some folks off as they, they're they scared of what they might see. I'm here to tell you, it ain't like that. There ain't no cipher spell in the great library uh, that can do what Scribe Shroom does. It plunges your... You're <laughs> into the river of time, so you can see it bit the bends and the currents rushing towards you. Do you know how I grew this business? Not with luck, my friend. Oh no. I used to. I used the humble scry shroom to outsmart my, outsmart my rivals, and now my company ships them to every corner of the Union. So, what do you say? You buy them? Uh, yeah, you convinced me. What are you selling? We've got a pot of Scry Shroom tea on brew. 
And we've also got a few other odds and ends if you're hankering for supplies. I've also got a room to rent upstairs for two coins if you need some rest. Let's see what you have for sale. Okay, he's got a compass for 20 bucks. Sturdy compass to orient yourself allows the bear to see their position on the map if they have one. Since magnetized lodestone is rare in the sky realms, compasses often rely on simple magic ciphers instead. I will buy that for 20 coins. I will buy one T. Uh don't know if I can actually drink that. He's got health potion and mana potions. Very cool. Okay. Oh, that's right. I need a key. <laughs> Duh. So I now have the tea, and I think I will go back to give it to the man before I forget. Because that is definitely on brand for me and something I will definitely do if I don't. Oh my god. I can really jump, huh? Wee! <laughs> About to run out of stamina, though. There we go. I'm back up. Just need to go to the elevator. Okay. Here we are. Back up we go. Okay, oh, actually, I should look at the map. I don't have any map charts. Okay, cool. So I don't get to see my compass until after I get a map. Okay, hello. Greetings, Confessor. Have you stopped in for a little chat? How delightful. About the tea you wanted? I have some scribe room tea. Ah, Confessor, this is exactly what I'm looking for. How thoughtful of you. He removes from his belt a tiny metal, tiny metal teapot he sips some loose tea in the filter uh and to your surprise you notice it already contains boiling water what the fuck if you would like to be so kind as to wait a moment confessor i really must let this brew you wait for an uncomfortable few minutes in total silence while the Inquisitor stares at his miniature teapot. Finally, he seems satisfied. He pours the liquid into a cup and takes a sip. He frowns and is silent for a moment. Confessor, this is, excuse me, damn fine tea. Ah, serve him some tea. Cool. A remarkable treasure. Okay, and I got a delusion. He takes another sip. I've tried an extraordinary number of teas in my time, and this, this is the one of the best. My wife is going to love it. Please take this as recompense. Beads of sweat appear in the Inquisitor's forehead, and he seems to be staring at something only he can see. He mutters to himself, damn fine tea indeed. You think it is probably best to leave him be. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Okay, a treasure of unmistakable value. Apparently wrought from the form of a silk slug. Interesting. Could make its owner a considerable sum. I have 40 fucking arrows, dude. Okay, well, very cool. We did, in fact, do it. Come on. Okay. Well, that's cool. We got a little money. Uh, well, I should say we got something to sell so that we can make some money. Excuse me. I am just burping all fucking day. I'm going to cut those out, though. <laughs> okay, back to the town we go. Oh, who's this? I miss this guy. Are you a map maker by chance? Oh my, what's all this commotion over yonder? I appear to be quite lost. I bought a map of the Orner Oneric Isles back in Riova. But it seems to be decades out of date, he grumbles. That's the trouble with these fringe islands. Every few decades, they floated into different positions. Take my advice, traveler. If you're looking to explore, make sure you find an accurate map. Do you know where I can find a map? 
Well, I noticed at the Erudite Academy is flying over Hollow, Sh Hollow Shrine to the south of here. Can you see it up, up there uh, in the sky? It travels all over the Union, or so I've heard. I met one of their scholars in a red tent in the forest underneath the village, though I've seen them in other places too. Believe it or not, they're working on a map of the region right now, only it's not quite ready. Still, I'd try asking them worth a shot, eh? Cool. Where are you trying to get? I'm trying to get to the Endless Realm. <laughs> it's said to be a place where people never die, even though the flesh petal, flesh peels from their bones. As a boy, my mother would scare me with tales of the cadaver crusades when the Endless would hunt the living and feast on their flesh, on their still warm bodies. It would scare me witless. But still, I always dreamed of going there someday. Well, you are a fucking fool. You are a right idiot. And I have it on good authority that they've reformed their ways. Oh, okay. They only eat non-sentient meat and are one on good terms with the union. So I said to myself, what do I have to lose? He gulps. <clears throat> well, I suppose they could still eat me. Okay, cool. Farewell. You have a good trip. Can't do nothing about it. Now, he did say underneath the city, so I'm assuming... Maybe I can get there from this bridge. Hmm. There's another enemy to fight over there. Oh, there's tons of shit. Oh, there's another Dread Delusion down there, I see. Which reminds me, I should upgrade the one that I have. So I will go Persona now, now that we're talking to a lot more people. And then I will go fight this ugly bastard. And... Yoink! 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 I fucked that up royally, huh? Oh, he bleeds me. Oh, you bastard. Fucking die. Mana potion. And a mana seed. Can I get that back? I don't know if I got that back. I might have to sleep in a bed soon. Perfect. There's some ore here. Iron ore. Can I get more if I strike this? Does not look like it. Oh well. Oh. E? This vein has been depleted long ago. Okay, good. Good to know. Now what is this here? Elevator. This does not work. Okay, good to know. I will have to go up there somehow. Interesting. Okay, so let's continue down here. Is that a little goblin dude? Ow. Oh my god, he's got a big sword. Can I have that sword? No, just lockpicks. Oh, and throwing knives up there that I can't get to. Oh, I can get to him. Good. Good, good, good. That's exactly what I wanted. Now. The hell was that noise? I don't even know. Okay, here's a seed. Another seed. Can I do this jumping puzzle? Oof. I can, in fact, do the jumping puzzle. Okay. Come on, I need a five. There we go. Ooh, bow, 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 bow. I'm going to keep saying it. Ooh, 20 armor 
plus 10 defense, chainmail. I don't know if I have anything equipped. I don't think I do. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's for my head. Okay, cool. Well, that was seriously worth it. Now I'm going to get those coins. And off we go. And I'm looking for a red tent. I do not see one, though. Let us see what's over here. There's money up top there. There's a bad guy. God damn it. I suck with these throwing knives. Oh, I can pick them back up. Okay, and we actually need to drink a health potion. Okay, that's good enough. That looks like a red enemy version of what I just killed. Give me another health potion. Arrows. Okay, at least I can pick up my throwing knives. I know that now. What is this? That looks neat. A squirming godlet. A squirming, writhing creature that looks like you with wet beady eyes. Looks at you with wet... I thought it was being a dick. And occasionally squeals with some unknown intent. The various factions of Hollow Shire might be interested in such a specimen. Perhaps the Apostate Union or the Wiccans. Okay. Very interesting. Don't know what I would use for that. So it seems like the Wiccans are at war with the Union. Jesus Christ, there's so much shit down here. Oh, this place is huge, actually. Aha, I got you, bitch. Fuck you, fatty. Get shit on. More mana potions. More arrows that I can't use. Sick. There's something up here. My lore skill was too low. Oh well. Another delusion here. Perfect. Another lockpick. This needs a six. This is gonna take a while. I got a oh, never mind. I was like, I got eleven of these fucking things, bro. Perfect. Siphon or cipher spear. Shoots a bolt of magical energy to damage a single foe. Though the Union heavily regulates the use of offensive magic, its navy detonates huge sums of universities. Uh, yeah, apparently, to ensure that refinement of such a spell. Cool, I now have a spell that I can use. And that is F, correct? I have to charge it up, and then it sends it out. Okay, and that took very little mana. So I am actually super happy with that. What is this? Another candle. My lore magic is too fuck. God damn, I almost fucking died from that. Oh, that probably opens this. So you can get in there without triggering or doing lock picking. Okay. Now, I don't know if there's fall damage. And this would be a great time to test it out, but I won't. I'm going to hold off. Okay, let's go back the way we came. 
Should we go back to the town or should we keep exploring is the question. There's a ton to explore and I don't have any real reason to go back to town at the moment. Got another poison. I do want to fight that red thing. That's something that interests me. So let's go back this way. And I'm going to test out this fucking spell on his ass. Wow. Ah. Oh shit. Oh, are you not? Oh, your friend. Silk thread. A sturdy silk produced by a uh, ambiguous silk slug. Uh, can be used to upgrade a variety of clothing. Despite being soft to the touch, the thread is remarkably durable. Okay, I don't have to fight the red thing. Good to know. In fact, red things are good. Who knew? You are not. Oh, get shit on, bro. Holy hell, that does tons of fucking damage. Take that for later. Get fucked. Loser. Oh my god. More lockpicks. Excellent. Anything else around the area? Another fucking loser frog, dude. Are you kidding me? You missed. Okay. That's going to take some getting used to. Fuck you. Bitch ass, bitch ass. And another jitter seed. Good to know. Okay. Still looking for that, uh, guy in the red tent. So let's see, where else have we not gone? That looks interesting over there. I think I will go over there. Ah, that looks like a red tent to me. Maybe. That might just be a red tent. Maybe we can finally get a map and learn out where the fuck we're going. Hello, sir. Got some gold? I'd like to purchase a map. Scholar has one eye pressed to the looking glass. As you approach, he squints. Take a deep breath and subtly still. Ah, are you okay? Chew! <laughs> the scholar sneezes as he sprays thick globule of mucus. Over his looking grass lens, he wipes his face and looks perturbed. These bloody mushroom spores. Why do I have to be sent to pile? Uh, of all places to make this damned map. Can I get a copy of your map? Look, I don't have time to pander to every your every want. The chief cartographer needs this urgently. They turn to look at you, then pause as, as if realizing something. Actually, you know what? Maybe you can have a copy of my map as long as you're willing to work for it. I can do that. What do you need? Photography notebook. Hollow Shrine photography. We're making a new kind of map, a magical map that tracks the shifting movements of these islands and corrects itself. Ooh, cool. The real work is that the cipher spell we're weaving together. But I need someone to go out and anchor the spell to specific landmarks. Take this notebook. When you get to a landmark, equip it and use it to make a cipher chart. The map will show you uh, will show up on the journal in your journal. If you obtain a compass, you'll be able to see yourself on the map too. Okay, I already have a compass. That's why it says in the top right corner, this might look interesting. Like, of course, because that's where it wants you to use the book. There are four scholars working on this map, including myself. Together, we cover Hollow Shrine, 
the endless realm, the Clockwork Kingdom, and Pile. You should also visit my colleagues to see what landmarks they need. The most important region we need mapped is Hollowshire. I note those locations on your log, as I'm sure whoever marks them will be rewarded. What landmarks do you need in the region? He sniffs, wipes his nose on his sleeve, then points to the towering fortress behind you. Well, the first, I suppose, would be to chart the... Uh, was the old god... Old God War fortress over there called the Blinding Light. Only I've heard it's infested with pirates and smugglers, so I was going to wait until I feel better. He looks a bit sheepish. Then there's another fortress to the southeast of the island, but he sniffs. Uh, have been... Have you been to the huge creature that's floating above it? No, have you seen the huge creature that's floating above it? No, no. That one will have to wait. And finally, there's the sh sacred shroom, as the locals call it, to the northwest. Only that's the largest shroom we've I've ever seen, so it would surely destroy my sinuses. Okay, what is the reward? Flying high. Well, you get access to my map itself, but I suppose we can throw in a few coins for each cipher chart, too. And if you manage to map the Hollow Shrine region, I can, I'd consider giving you a recommendation to the Erudite Academy. Can you see it flying up there in the sky, being allowed, being allowed access is a real pl privilege, believe me. Okay, got it. You sure? Very well. Uh, can I ask some question? By all means. What's the academy you mentioned? The Uridai Academy? It's only the most esteemed academic institution in the Union. You can see it up there in the sky. It's a flying island that travels around the Apostolate Union, uh, to where it's needed most. We've been stationed here on the these Oneric Isles for the past year or so. There's an elevator platform which will take you to the island, but you can't get onto it without a recommendation from a scholar like myself. I think that's the elevator that we tried earlier that we couldn't use. Uh, okay. Actually, I do want to ask about the island itself. He swallows and rubs his bloodshot eyes. Oh, you mean Pyle? Well, the northeast Mosern island of the Oneric Isles. The local Neuron Star, is that really what it is? Uh, that orbits the Isles every 12 hours or so. It's brightest when it passes Pyle. Decades ago, the locals had a particularly nasty god, which meant they were more than willing to take up arms in the god wars, he sniffs. This place became a front line in the fighting. That's why there are so many old fortresses about. Of course, when the war ended, it went back to being a sleepy sort of place. Though it's technically part of the apostate union, apostate union, you'll find that few in the heartlands have really heard of Pyle, unless they're particularly fond of the sky shroom tea that they make here. If you want to meet the locals yourself, I'd head up to Pyle Village above us, but if you'd rather be in civilization, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> Take the road north to Hollowshire, where the Union has a larger presence. And more than anything, I'm as I'm sure you've noticed, Pyle will, is covered with blooming mushrooms. The spores stick to your clothes, they get in your hair, the, your nose. It's enough to make anyone pauses and suddenly very still. I think I'm going to sneeze. Very well. Well, we got our map. I think we're going to trade out the poison here for that. And then we're going to look at the map. I haven't found any map charts. Well, fuck me. Oh, these are completed quests. Okay. Okay, so now we just have to go back to all the places we've been. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind that. I think first step, we're going to uh, probably go back to the fortress. Oops, didn't mean to throw that. Fuck me. Skyrim is R to put your shit away, so I hit R and it threw my weapon. Anyway. 
Uh, yeah. Next time we're going to be scouting some locations, it seems, which is pretty fucking cool because we got a compass and a map now. We just need to use the journal at certain locations. So that's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go back. I was going to end the episode there, but I want to go back and use a saving thing because that would be quite important, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know there's one by the entrance of the fortress, which is over here, so it shouldn't be that long of a walk. Oh, I need also. I'm going to go back up to the fortress. I'm guessing that's the island that they were talking about. I definitely need to sleep because my. Uh, my stamina is crippling right now. My mana isn't that good. I probably have one spell left. And, uh, yeah, I need to save. So, you know what? Fuck it. We're going up there now. <laughs> I want to get this done before I forget next episode. Oh, that replenishes my mana. Cool. Okay, well, that makes sense. Let me get my journal out. And right here. Aha! Mark your first map landmark. Chart is created in your cartography notebook. This chart is enchanted with cipher. To magically update even the landscape changes, I can give it to, you can give it to the Academy installer for a reward. Very cool. So that should mark our map. You're fucking me right now. Oh my god, okay. I just wasn't looking properly. Okay, well there it is. There's a couple of houses. Cool. Now let us go here. We can save. We can sleep till noon. I will save again just for the lols. And we will call it there. Look at that big star. So cool. All right. Everything's done. <laughs> Next time we're going to be going to these new places, getting some new, meeting some new people, having good old fun time. I'll see you in the next one.